Good morning friends, welcome to IAFL Tech videos. In today's video, we are going to see how to read Excel in Java using Apache PUI. Apache PUI is a famous open source library for reading and writing Excel sheets from your Java code. It can read both the old XLS format and the advanced XLSX format. You can simplify reading both these formats in a common way. In this example, we will see how to read an Excel file. This is a sample Excel file that we are going to read. Let's get started. Here I am going to use try with resource block. Inside the try block, I am going to define a workbook. Workbook wb equal to. Here I am going to use workbook factory. Workbook factory is used to read both XLS and XLSX format. This provides a simplified method to read both these formats. I am going to use workbook factory. Workbook factory dot create. I am going to pass a new file here. New file. Path of the file is d colon slash Excel one dot xls x i'm going to add the java.io let's format the code now it shows that there are some exceptions so we will catch them catch exception e e dot print stack trace we have created a workbook the usual process is you create a workbook and then get a sheet from that workbook from that sheet you get each row and for each row you get all the cells let's do it now i'm going to create a sheet 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 object equal to wb dot we are going to get the first sheet from the excel so get sheet at i'm going to pass the index as zero if you want to get the sheet by name you can use get sheet method since i want to go with the index i'm using get sheet at method i'm going to pass value as zero this will get the first sheet from the excel file after getting the sheet we should iterate through all the rows so for that we need to know the starting row and the ending row so now we will get the first row row start equal to sheet dot get first row number this will get you the first row similarly i'm going to get the last row int row end so to sheet dot get last row number this will get you the last row number i'm going to iterate through each of the rows in the sheet let's create a for loop for i equal to zero so instead of zero here we are going to use row start i should be less than the last row so it's row end now we will create a row row equal to sheet dot get row we will be getting the row from the particular index so let's pass the index as i code will look through all the rows from the sheet and assign to the variable called row now it's time to iterate through the rows to get all the cells of a given row so let's start a inner loop for j equal to 0 so instead of 0 here we are going to give the first cell row dot get first cell number and it should be less than the row dot last cell number Let's create a cell object will equal to row dot get cell. We are going to pass the cell index as cell here j. Since we have got the cell object, we can print the value from the cell. Stum dot out dot print ln cell dot get string cell value. Your cell values might be in different format. For example, a string value, numeric value, date value, and etc. So we need to check those format before printing it. We will cover this in the next video. For now, let's print only the string value since Excel sheet has only string values. We are now done. To make it more understandable, let's print little designs. To mark the end of each row, let me add a line. If you note it, we are not using finally block to close the files. It's because we are using try with resource block. This will automatically close the files and the workbook at the end of the code. Now let's run the code. You can now see that the values are printed. Name status is a header and all the rows below are data from the Excel. Try it and let me know your questions and feedback in the comment section. Thank you.